Well, pleasure to be joining Adam Campton out of uh, Hong Kong to talk things uh, around tonight's 10 race card out of Sha Tin. How's things going, Adam? Good, thanks, mate. Uh, good to be here with you guys. Uh, it is a bit of a miserable day outside today, but uh, hopefully that doesn't stop the horses from running fast. It's all right, and we can find a couple of winners along the way. Before we talk more about uh, today's program, of course, hard to, to not look back over what happened with that uh, brilliant win by, by Golden 60 for uh, Vincent Ho. What, what a win that was for, from back last and uh, steamed over the top of Mark McNamara. His, his call was on point as well. Yeah, it was a brilliant call from Mark. Eh? He's been incredible since he's arrived in Hong Kong. Golden 60, uh, a very special animal. Um, he has shown the ability all the way through his short career. He's 10 from 11 now. He's won seven on a row this season. Um, he's just a beautiful horse. He's a good looking horse. He pins his ears back. Uh, once he sees another horse in front of him, he just looks at that horse and just charges him down. Um, the jockey on board too, Vincent, um, I'm a huge rap of him. He's a special young talent. He's a great young guy. He's a very humble lad. And uh, I haven't seen too many jockeys work as hard as him. So he deserves all the success that comes his way. And uh, especially Francis Louis, he's done a great job. First and third in the Derby, uh, one of Hong Kong's biggest races. And uh, it was good to see two of the local lads uh, get the job done. Too right. And now we talk about the jockey premiership as well. And of course, uh, Zach Purton, he just got his nose in front after the completion of racing on Wednesday night at a Happy Valley. 90 versus 89 between Zach and Joe. Yes, uh, Zach's definitely started to find his mojo again. He's flying. Uh, he was having a bit of a quiet season early on, but uh, this month of March, he's uh, ridden 18 winners. Uh, he's on fly, I think, 11 from his fast, last four meetings. Uh, when Zach's in one of those moods and he's mm. riding well, he's a very hard man to stop. Um, it is going to be a ding-dong battle all the way to the line. Um, Joe does... Um, get a few more ticks with riding lighter weight horses. So that does help, especially over here. Um, but as I said, Zach's flying at the moment. Um, they both do have a very good book of rides today. And uh, it is tough in saying, and I wouldn't be shocked, but I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Joe rode four or five early on and Zach came home with four or five as well. It looks to be uh, definitely both of their day. Okay, well, yeah, let's uh, identify a couple. Of, what are you liking throughout the program? I'm going to go with race seven, number seven, Grateful Heart, former Australian galloper, Peter Snowden galloper. Uh, he's coming around six to one. Uh, he was a touch disappointing first up, 1,200 metres, back to 1,000. I really like that. Uh, he has drawn the wrong side, but he has got good speed. I think he'll come over to the fence. Um, Zach uh, gets on him for the first time. He has ridden him in a recent trial. He showed really good speed in his recent trial. And I think the six to one's over is... Um, He's a very nice horse. Um, I just hope he can put it all together today. I didn't say that. I do think he's going to be a better horse next season, but I do think his class will take him a long way today. And, uh, yeah, I think $6 is uh, a big odds for this horse. I think he'll nearly start favourite. Okay, all right. Mark that one down. Uh, anything else that we're liking uh, is, is a good bit? Yeah, race eight, number one, super rich. I'm going to go with him for my best of the day. A horse I've always had a lot of uh, time for. Um, I think Frankie Law, if he had his time back again with this horse, he may have taken his time with him um, last season. He did show a lot of ability early on last season. His first up win was brilliant last season. Um, he hasn't been the same sort of horse since. He was a horse that was going to be a big player in the four-year-old series, but it just came all too quick for him. Uh, he has had four runs back this season, gets back to class three, 1,400 metres, recent trial, very good with Zach on board. He's drawn perfectly. He's $4. I think if he produces his best, he'll absolutely blow this field away. All right, nice. Have we got one there for us that we can that we can play at a, at a touch of value, maybe on on an each way ticket? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go with uh, one of my old favourites, race nine, number eleven, Mister Alden, Barrier Nine, Tony Cruz, uh, Brazilian jockey Wagner Borges, a new rider over here who has a great set of hands. Uh, this horse, um, I'm not going to tell Tony Cruz how to do his job, but he is a horse that needs to be ridden quiet, and they were riding him forward early on. He just wasn't finishing off. Karras two starts to go, rode him quiet, got to the outside, let rip. And he did beat Monica um, fair and square that day. This horse is $26 today. Monica's starting around 5 to 1, 5.5. Um, I think if Wagner just takes this horse back to last, sits three wide with cover, I think this horse will get to the outside. And uh, if he does produce his best, he will be winning at those price. All right. That's a, that's a bit of a juicy one for us. Uh, race nine, number 11. 26 yeah, so to 1, I'm liking it. Yeah. Hopefully he can uh, produce his best. But in saying that, if uh, if he does go forward, uh, just scrunch up <laughs> your ticket. 
<laughs> oh, we've got some good info there, Adam. Uh, nice work. We might be leaning on you a little bit uh, over the next few weeks uh, while we're in lockdown here and in, uh, in NZ. So uh, th- thanks for, for your thoughts and hopefully there's a couple of winners there for us. No worries. Happy to join you anytime and I hope you all stay safe.